Alika, Ironman Hawaii, is it as well an inspiration for the local people? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I believe anytime anything happens in Hawaii, it brings you know the, the everyone out out of their houses and and gets them moving. Uh, you can see everyone on Ali Drive, you know, uh, walk more. You know, they're 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 running more. They're they're biking more. You know, so as soon as October comes around, you can kind of see the shift in, in how how the energy level um, um, picks up. Okay, great. Goed, dus uh, Ironman Hawaii zorgt voor inspiratie bij sommige van de mensen. Maar niet iedereen is even gelukkig met onze komst. Sommige mensen hebben het echt niet begrepen op triatleten. En dat hebben we eigenlijk al aan de lijve kunnen ondervinden. Alika, not everybody is as happy with the venue of all the athletes. Um, can you explain us why and can you as explain as well what we can do as good guests if we come to the island? I think uh, so Kona is small, you know, we're on the biggest island but Kona is, 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 is a small town so everyone has their routines and uh, go to work and, and, and come home so there's not a lot of there's not a lot of area that everyone covers and they're used to the same thing so when a bunch of people, you know three four thousand extra bodies around you know it kind of creates a little bit of uh, uh, it slows everything down a little bit more uh, than usual so I think maybe the bikers is probably the most um, gets gets the locals a little bit more aggravated just just because of of the, the, the crowding of, of some of the roads maybe more on elite drive uh, but on the Queen K now that they expanded a little bit more it should kind of you know hopefully mellow mellow some of the locals out a little bit more but um, what you can do is just obey the, the, the traffic lights and signs and stuff like that because it just makes makes the drivers a little bit more on edge and, 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 and afraid basically you know so just obey the, the traffic laws and and just respect the, the, the land pick up the rubbish you know just don't not, not everyone tr tr trashes the place, but you know, just obey the laws and don't litter. Oké, okay, ik denk uh, dat dat heel duidelijk is. Hè? Laat ons goede gasten zijn. Thailand is niet van ons. Wij mogen hier zijn. Alika zelf is uh, uiteraard ook geïnspireerd geraakt door Iron Man. En uh, ja, hij zal nu heel eventjes kort zijn, zijn verhaal doen. Alika, yes, sir. you did us well, the Iron Man of Hawaii. Yeah. Tell us. So uh, in 2012, I was uh, invited to, to participate in the Ironman World Championships here in Kona. And um, it was a long day. Uh, it was a great day though. It was one of my, my, my best races, a lot of memories. Um, leading up to that race, I, was, uh, uh, I wasn't as, as fit for, uh, to participate. Uh, my, my heaviest weight I got up to was 265 pounds. Um, so and I'm only five foot seven, <laughs> so that's a good shape, a round shape, not in shape. But um, uh, a few years before, uh, probably around 2009, oh, 2009, I started to to slowly try to uh, lose a little bit of weight, and I found some uh, triathlon um, to to help shed some of the weight off. Between that and and CrossFit. Um, I kind of melted off about 110 pounds, and by the time I took uh, the, that starting line, I had I had dropped down to I think I weighed about 170, 175. So uh, to to participate in 2012, so I don't I don't know if I could have done it at 265 pounds, but 170 it was a good 13 hours of of goodness <laughs> of suffering in this heat. Maar het was een great day. Was a great day. Voilà, zo zie je maar. Uh, ja, triathlon, het doet iets met mensen, Ironman zeker.